If you go to any of the space-related institutions in China, you will find out the architecture looks very much the same. The sites are spacious and have an understated style, but are solid, just like what China has achieved over the past year. In 2021, Chinese astronauts started their journey at the space station. The Tianhe the Space Station's most critical module launched into space on April the 29th, followed by two cargo and manned missions. The astronauts traveled to the space station in batches to complete verification of key technology and construction tasks. In September, Shenzhou 12 astronauts ended their three-month stay in space and safely returned to Earth, while the crew of Shenzhou 13 took over and continued to work in space. The most notable event during Shenzhou 13 mission would be a 60-minute science lecture from space. The whole event was televised live to a global audience, and the ground technicians who sit here at the flight control center ensured that the whole program ran smoothly. I had the privilege of witnessing two manned missions this year, and it's hard to forget the excitement at the scene. What impressed me most about these scenes was that each mission ended with the joy of success. That is much to be celebrated. In 2022, we will launch the experimental module Wentian and Mengtian to complete the construction of China's space station. For our astronaut system, we also need to send Shenzhou 14 and Shenzhou 15 crew to compete several months of flight missions. If you haven't noticed, you can actually see the space station flying overhead shh, at night. So in 2022, I'll still be here with you, bringing you with the latest news in China's space program. Liu Zhaxin, CGTN, Beijing.